Grandson, grandson, come here for the guys right quick, man. Hold on, y'all. Let me fix something right quick and I get it started, man. We're gonna talk about King Von right quick. And I wanna break King Von situation down completely. All right, I fixed the situation in the room. Now, King Von made me do this video. I'm gonna tell you how he made me do the video. I was minding my own business on Instagram, you know, scrolling. You know, you ever get bored, you on Instagram and you hit you hit one video or whatever, you post only watch one video, two seconds on the gram. Next thing you know, three hours go by, you was, you was Instagram surfing the whole time. Now, this is a song I heard for your boy, King Von. Most of these niggas, they bootin', they don't really fuck with you, let me tell you the truth. Went on the drill, my homie, and that nigga ain't even shoot steady, acting gangsta, they ain't even you, set up bad bitches, they right. ain't I won't tell a soul, I be keeping you, I be shooting shit and he don't even I was out the window, he was out the roof, I was on the block, you was out the loop I was in the board, he was in the tours, I was in the zoo, shoot, shoot Like when I watch that song, and, and y'all know um, Eric, uh, um, he did it with Eric, bruh. Now, watching the talent that King Von is, bro, some of these guys, you, you ever see, like, a lot of people die. I understand that. This ain't no emotional thing I'm trying to pitch out you. Sit back, gang, and rock out, bro, and understand what I'm trying to give you. You ever see a certain rapper that die, bro, and you... You understand death is death, but you sit back like, how did we lose him? How did he die? I caught myself looking at King Von like, damn, Von really dead? Although I seen this video before too, you know what I mean? This video is old. I seen that video and I'm just sitting back like, I'm not even listening to the words anymore at this point. Now I'm remembering everything and one, the whole compilation of what King Von, uh, King Von was, you know what I mean? The whole compilation is just hitting me like, how do we keep losing rappers like King Von, bro? I know the answer how, but in, in, in a complicated world that we could break down to a regular person, bro, how? You looking at all the sides, bro, when people be, do be picking sides, my nigga. I sit back, this is why I don't pick sides. I see talent in each and every one of these dudes y'all like calling a drill rapper. I don't really use, well, I use drill rappers sometimes, but I don't look at them as a drill rapper, bro. They like a kid in Sudan, South Sudan, bro, going through a, a childhood war, bro. They got to internalize everything they see every day, so... The, the regular outlook on life that you might have versus them is completely different, my nigga. The outlook that, oh, I'm going to have the whole big house and white picket fence. These niggas looking just to make it to the next day. Forget about making it to 21 or this and that. Niggas is just trying to make it the next day, bro. Some of these dudes really accepted that if I die, I die. And I know how and why I'm going to die. These niggas know how they're gonna. I see WAC 100 tell, you know what I mean, 6 9. I bet you, you're not even scared, and you know exactly how you're gonna die and, and the way it's gonna happen. And I start sitting back, like, was WAC 100 wilding when he said that to 6 9? Nah, bro. He spoke the truth, my nigga. This is the way you're gonna go out when you ain't fully focused and paying attention to what's going on. It ain't nothing but facts, he told. He ain't lied to that, man. He looked at the situation and he's like, look, when you know you deep in this, bro, you got both feet in. Like, I, keep, I keep hearing niggas say, these young wolves got one foot in and one foot out. Nah, nigga, they got both foot in this street shit, bro. The King Vons of the world, my nigga, he was hypnotizing people with the way of his street legacy and the way he acclimated, bro. Meaning that that nigga adapted the hip hop game. Boy, that nigga King Von came in the hip hop world. He like maybe he got coached from Dirk and them, but that boy had it in him from the beginning. That man, I should say. My apologies for saying that, boy. I'ma say that man had the knowledge of what he had to do. Them numbers was crazy, bro. I, I, I never hated, but I would sit back like, how come the other Chicago dudes can't get numbers like that? You trying to see what the formula is and what the sauce, but sometimes is mama's cooking is mama's cooking because it's original. It's genetically given to one person. They can't be cloned and genetically modified to be given all these other rappers here. That, nah, that nigga Vaughn had it. The art of storytelling. Not everybody blessed with that storytelling magic, my nigga. Storytellers in the rap game is the ones who live forever, bro. Them storytellers, 
They could be dead and gone forever. It's like a Native American rituals from back in the days. All you hear is people professing the words you spoke into existence, my nigga. Those words would change minds, whether for good or bad, but your influence is powerful. Even if he's raising up other quote unquote killers out here or dudes who just want to change their life through musically, people like that are hard to find, bro. With the words they use, they can captivate your mind and shit. They can make you dudes run through walls for them or go through, <laughs> no pun intended, go through drills for them. That's leader, my nigga. Me being an army vet, I gotta tell you, not many leaders got that gift, bro. That's leadership qualities. This man was defined not by his kills and all that. He was defined by confidence. That's a swagger that you can't write, you can't fabricate, you can't be given that. It gotta be with you already from birth, bro. He got that confident to a T. You can put King Vaughn in any room, he's the center of attention. Not because he's affiliated with Little Dirk, OTF, not because he's from Chicago, not because he's from the Rack South Side, not because he's from Old Block, not because of none of that. It's because he's him. King Vaughn, the confidence, the confidence is what take you afar, bruh. That dude, when they, even when they killed him, I kind of knew. It was gonna be like an earthquake compared to a lot of rappers, bro. And ain't even, it ain't even, I don't even think he's the face of Chicago, if you want me to be real with you. I think FBG Duck is the face of Chicago. And even Little Dirk is more of the face of Chicago than King Von, but King Von is somebody that you look at like, damn, just like Duck. I'll compare him to Duck. When Duck died, it was the same thing. It was two dudes who built up a legacy of confidence. Where they come from, they ain't supposed to be that comfortable in hip hop, and they was. FBG Duck and King Von. Swagger out of this world, my nigga. Like, the comfort is like, they came in your house and they don't know who lived there, and they got their feet on the couch because they know you ain't gonna do nothing about it. That's how King Von and Doug had the hip hop world. I'm gonna put my feet up in this hole, and you ain't gonna do shit about it. Big facts. Now I look at King Von, he's gone. I see. What the game is kind of missing, I see generic off-brand rappers coming out of nowhere trying to sound the same thing, uh, duplicate what Vaughn was, and it's just, you don't have that genesis qua, my nigga. You don't got that it factor. You don't got, you, 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 don't, you, you don't got it, bro. You ain't the truth, bro. And you got to let it go sometimes, bro. Sometimes people know early, this ain't my path over here. I do believe Vaughn was one of them motherfuckers out there. He was like, man, fuck this rap shit. Not because it was dumb and corny, because he seen how easy it was and was like, he ain't trying to do nothing this easy. And maybe easy becomes corny dudes like Vaughn. King Vaughn worked for everything he had to do, whether it was through the streets or a struggle, but he was going to overcome it. And when you got dudes overcoming death and and and, and Carson, uh, incarceration and uh, incarceration, I'm sorry, I'm 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 deep in this rap, but incarceration and all that, you know what I mean? You can overcome that. You look at rap like, oh, this is a, a playground, a playground situation, gang. Fuck is this? They probably look, they probably look at other rappers as jokes, bro. Like I can imagine Vaughn, bro. Vaughn out there, he looking at one of you rap niggas and he going, oh, this nigga here. This nigga here, bro. So now when you in here and you like, wait a minute, this lame ass industry is paying like this. So it's like something he knows. It's like taking candy from a, you know what? So that's what they doing, bro. Vaughn is like taking candy away from these rap niggas, and it was easy, bro. He he could do this with his eyes closed. I swear to God, bro. So the level of change he was bringing around the guys. When you see a man take that much income and give it to the guys. That income right there could be saved and put in investments and make more millions for himself. But he's like, man, I'm going to do that with the other rest. I need this to give the guys right now. I'm trying to save lives out here. That says a lot about leadership qualities. Yeah, King Vaughn. I look at some of the storytellers, but it remind me of JT Money. You know what I mean? Uh, um, Tribe Called Quest. Them stories, my niggas, how you do it, gang. Um, even Trick Daddy, you know what I mean? I can keep going deeper, bro. That's why I fuck with Kodak Black, bro. Them, them, them young cats, like NBA young boy who can give you a story. They can paint the picture for me. Don't just give me an a, a, a empty canvas when I done paid my money to support you. This whole, you're an artist, but ain't nothing painted on the canvas. 
Nah, Vaughn was a real artist. He painted everything you thought of and wanted to get. Salute to King Vaughn, man. Rest in peace to King Vaughn. I'm your God Bless One. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed. Make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. And make sure you comment. Share this video for a nigga right quick. Share that video, gang.